these here. Stick shift, drive speed. It's been a couple of days since I started it. Should be okay though. Volkswagens, you know, they're not like Hondas. All right, I'm gonna pull it out into the uh, into the driveway, do a walk around with it. I gotta. All right. Obviously, the interior, the uh, radio was a little wonky, and yeah, doesn't seem to work consistently. I don't know. walk around it this is a uh, midday Sun the roof is gonna need to be replaced at some point it's got a tear near the back window but overall it's it's pretty weather tight I mean the bumpers are in okay shape the, uh, the previous owner uh, applied some Some touch-up paint. I prefer. I think it just has a drivable patina. So I'm going to try to get the uh, interior. The back seat is folded down. It's it. The interior is in really nice shape. I don't have the floor mats though. Stick shift. The clock doesn't work. The uh, the, the temperature and the uh, voltmeter do though. Horn works. <laughs> All the lights work like they should. It passed a uh, mass state inspection recently. Original gas cap. Some discoloration in the paint right there. It's kind of hard to. So, rockers, rear quarters. Door panels are in really nice shape. Dash is in really nice shape overall. Scion XD floor mat that I found at the car wash comes with the car Overall mostly original paint it looks like like I said the top is in okay shape, but Not great shape or you know uh, Some surface rust over here on this fender and some poorly applied touch-up paint. I prefer the patina A little ding Uh, just a little background on this car. It was uh, it was the summer car for a home in Nantucket, Nantucket, excuse me, an island off of Massachusetts. Back seat, nice shape. Fire extinguisher because it's an old Volkswagen. Door pockets all present. Speakers. Like I said, the radio is a little wonky on this. I'll pop the engine again. Let me rev up the motor a little bit. This is the L package, so it has the uh, tachometer, which is nice. Like I said, that's an OEM, uh, not uh, an aftermarket, excuse me, radio. Some sweet and low, lighter. <clears throat> so, as you can see, it idles nicely. Uh, I could take it on the road too, but I'll be honest with you, I don't want to be filming and driving. I don't have any kind of mount. Here's the hatch. Lights all work. doesn't need much of anything like I said besides the radio it's gonna need a roof eventually maybe you want to paint it I don't know but uh 
you know it's all here it all works I don't drive it much I have other cars I have other toys working vent windows so those all work as they should remote mirrors roll down windows though let me uh, pop the engine again so you can so you can see under there I just replaced this battery, so it's a brand new battery. I have the receipt for it. A few maintenance items have been taken care of by myself or the previous owner. Um, everything works like it should. You know, you change your oil. I put uh, 2,000 miles or so on this car since I bought it. A little over 2,000. The car was located in Eastham, Massachusetts which is uh, almost in Provincetown, Cape Cod. And a uh, nice old, older gentleman had it. Uh, his plan was to tow, <clears throat> tow it behind his motorhome. That's what he told me. That's what he was gonna use it for. Uh, but he never did much anything with it. He never towed with it. As a matter of fact, he, uh, he registered it and then only drove about 100 miles. So he only put 100 miles on the car and uh, the original owner and myself, well, the original owner's nanny, actually, or caretaker, was the one that drove this. <clears throat> really interesting story. If you buy the car, I'll tell you the story if you want to know. Uh, me and my fiance drove out uh, to East Ham. Here's the, uh, the most troublesome part of the car, this little rear quarter part here. Not uncommon. And, oh, I should, uh, we should probably get underneath here. It's very clean. I don't know if you can see that too well. But overall it's very clean. As you can see. Excuse my uh, abrupt camera movements. I try to reposition myself accordingly. This is going to be a long video. I mean, you know, it did live on Cape Cod, so it does have a little bit of surface rust, but it's not anything scary. Has all four of the uh, OEM hubcaps. This is the 1980. It's the first year, 1.6 liter, fuel injected. Has the, uh, the original emblems, isn't that cool? All in good, patinaed shape the Carmen badge it's not a Carmen edition per se it's a uh, all of them were built in Carmen it's actually the factory this is an actual German built Volkswagen and uh, a lot of them were built in uh, Pennsylvania so these cars are actually uh, built in the motherland Oh, I should get a, an up close of the door tag, I suppose. There you go. All door tags, all nice. You know, I mean, other than the, uh, other than the poor touch-up paint and, the, and the, the patina, there's really not much to bother somebody with this thing. It's a good, honest car. I mean, it's got a little nick. And a few bruises, you know, like that end cap right there is cracked. It's got a couple scuffs from when I uh, let it roll into my garage door. That white right there, that was me. Sorry. But otherwise, everything works great. Oh, I should probably turn on the lights. So It's kind of tough to tell, but the, the lighting works. It's very dim. It's not, it's, you know, it's a 36-year-old car. Oh yeah, see? Lights are on. Car is idling nicely. Nice mellow exhaust. It has a newer exhaust on it. You know, it's all in, in solid shape. Uh, this molding was hanging off when I first bought it. And, uh, 
back on now. This little belt line molding, these little clips like to break. A lot of people take it off, but I like it with the belt line molding. Uh, the roof works. You can fold it down. As a matter of fact, I, I rarely had this roof up. Um, <clears throat> what else? The windows roll down as they should. The rear windows roll down like halfway. If you're not aware of these cars, the uh, rear windows never folded all the way down because there wasn't enough room in the uh, rear quarters. But uh, I think I got it all. You're gonna have to trust me that the rear windows roll down and that the, the roof mechanically works as it should. I assure you it does. Uh, it's a good honest car. I'm gonna shut this down, but let me take a look at the gauges here so you can take a look that it, it's in good working, Nick. There we go, it's got a little heat into it. It's got the the uh, brake light on because I have the uh, e-brake pulled. So everything works. The clock does not, sorry. I, I, I don't know if I neglected to say that. But uh, yeah, shift smooth. It's all there. Thank you for watching.